What was the highest selling John Deere tractor model of greater than 50 horsepower ever? It was none other than the 4020, which some of you might have been able to guess by the thumbnail of this video, but 4020, it was produced from 1963 to 1972. It replaced the 4010, and the uh, 4020 was produced about 10 years. Uh, there was 184,000 of them sold. Yes, over 184,000. Came in at about 101 horsepower and uh, 84 horsepower at the drawbar and just short of 96 at the PTO. So, to me it seems like the reason it sold so highly was A, that it was it was in that prime just about a hundred horsepower range and it was produced uh, for nearly ten years so it was a very versatile tractor produced ten years man did it come with a lot of variations there was the hydraulic front wheel drive so like modern day front wheel assist uh, there were several cab variations you could have the canopy just no canopy nothing no cab uh, the cab, you could have heating and air in the cab, that would be pretty nice. But yeah, and then the wheel combinations, there was the high crop, there was the narrow front, just the standard front. You could put a loader on it, you could plant with probably, I don't know if you could do a 12 row, you could probably do a 12 row, but you know, easily an 8 row uh, planter. You could pull a drill, you could do some light light disking, chisel plowing, I guess more so that time it was plowing that was popular. But yeah, there was just so many variations and came in at that sweet spot of about 100 horsepower, like I said. And beyond that, it uh, was pretty affordable, believe it or not. So they, the last year that they sold them was 1972, as we said. And the price was $10,345. Yeah. Just over $10,000. So to put that in current day... Current day thought... I I did put it through an inflation calculator. It came out to be about $61,600. So that kind of puts it into perspective of today's dollars. But that was still pretty cheap for back then for... One of the bigger horsepower lines that uh, horsepower tractors John Deere made, other than the 8020. So yeah, it, it really just hit the sweet spot of the market. It produced it about 10 years, and magically, 184,000 of them are sold. And I don't know about you, but I've seen plenty still living to this day. And uh, if you were curious, guess what replaced it? To me, I... I'd always kind of figured it was just the 4030, because that kind of just followed the numbering, you know, the 40, 4020 replaced the 4010, and the 4030 replaced the 4020. But, nope, that is not the case. It was actually the 4230. Well, thanks for watching, and uh, let me know if you have any other ideas for videos.